with comedian David Boyle and I'm quitting alcohol. So we have a war for the left at the moment and a war for the right. All the people that were opposing the Ukraine war because of spending and all sorts of shit, everything besides the death of the people they were opposing it for, well, now these people are 110 on board with the fucking Israel-Palestine war. And the people who were in support of the war in Ukraine are 110 against the Israel-Palestine war. So fucking... <laughs> Where's the war for the people in the middle? What about the undecided voters? Is there going to be a war for them? Maybe a war between Australia and Canada. That would be a tough one. Who would you choose? Everyone hates Trudeau. So I would say Australia would get a few fans. But then you fucking go anywhere overseas where there's a drunk Australian and you just hear that blood-curdling fucking nasal voice and you're like, fuck, I hope Canada wins. Although the Canadian accent can get pretty fucking nasally too out there in oil fucking land. New Zealand would be going for Canada. They'd be like, fuck Australia. The US? Who would the US go for? I'm pretty sure the US would go for Canada. Fiji would go... Actually, most of the world would go for Canada. Except maybe Hamas and (laughs) Russia. Russia and Hamas will be backed by Australia. Or will be backing Australia. Who knows? Who knows? As long as there's war, that's what I say. A little bit of war for everyone. That's what I've always said. It's healthy. I tell you what's tough at the moment. It's tough just to fucking block everything out. Like a little bit you just feel like turning off the news forever and just living your own fucking life. Just fucking go down, go for a little walk, get some sunshine on you, play with your kids, enjoy your friends and family read a book, and just, like, enjoy life. But it feels like you're doing that in the background of just the whole world burning. And it sort of feels like you're ignoring everything to do this. You know what I mean? Like, you want to ignore it all and just block it all out and just get on with your fucking day. But at some point, it might fucking land on your doorstep and you're like, what? I am completely unprepared for this. I didn't know this was happening. I was thinking about it yesterday. I've been turning to the fucking Buddhist books a lot lately just to fucking calm myself down. Just to really honestly center myself, bring myself back down to earth. Reading shit about Buddhism gives me like a fucking mental massage or something. It just relaxes me. I'm like, all right. Detached from everything. But I was thinking about it yesterday when I was on the phone. I was, who was I on the phone to? I was on the phone to my mum at some shitty market. It was like a market where they just sell shit. It was literally a shitty market. But it was a shitty market run by the Rotary Club and most of those cunts are dead now. So there's only like four stalls left. And there's no young generation coming through to fucking continue the tradition of selling broken Lego on a table (laughs) at the market. You know what I mean? There's no fucking 15-year-old saying, i got to go out and sell these trinkets. So it was a shitty market, and I was on the phone to my mum going, where are you? I'm at this piece of shit market you sent us to. How long are you going to be? And as I was saying that, I got a fucking stab in the side of my neck a bee it felt like a bee bit me and it was a sharp pain and i'm like that hit my jugular directly on my jugular and i'm like this could be it i could be out i'm like if this cuts off the blood flow to my head i'm out from this bee i'm done there's no way i could have planned for that (laughs) imagine if i died from that there is no precaution you could have taken from a bee stinging you in the jugular while you're at this fucking piece of shit market. What was I doing at the market? That would have been my last fucking thought. What am I doing at this market? 
why now? And I'm going down and I'm holding my neck. But that ran through my head. I was like, there's no way. It doesn't matter what you do. Death is coming for you at some point. You can be as cautious or as fucking careful. They're basically the same word. But you can do whatever the fuck you like to avoid it. It's coming and you don't know when it's coming or how it's coming. But I can assure you, it's coming. So I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Not just yesterday. Yesterday triggered it. But I was thinking about those people in Israel who were at the music festival and Hamas came in and started fucking fucking cunts up, I was like, that would not be fun. How can you plan against that? I mean, I've taken shitloads of acid a few times and thought that's actually happening. And that's scary enough. That's scary enough in itself. Imagine being on acid thinking... That's happening, and then it actually does happen. Fuck that. But I've been fucking thinking a lot lately about ways you can die. (laughs) Like, I'll be driving along, and I'm like, I could fucking just die this way. It wouldn't even have to be my fault. Some fucking truck driver behind me is sending a text message, just rams up behind me. I've been getting pretty fucking creative with it as well. And it's brought me to the conclusion. I'm like, there's nothing you can do. I think the only thing you can do, your best bet is just fucking have some good karma. Just don't do bad things, which is easier said than done. Anyway, it's fucking Monday. And you know what that means. It's a spoil time. So, if you have a question you would like answered by one of the greatest minds of the generation or any generation, comedian, philosopher, crany, Le Boyal, then head to my website, boylecomedy.com. There's a section there for Ask Boyal. Put your details in, ask your question, and I'll get to it. While you're there, sign up for the Patreon. Also, while you're there, If you're Canadian or you're fucking anywhere near Canada or you're willing to fly into Canada to see me, go buy some tickets. Fucking scrimmage and scrummage around my website looking for them. They are up there. They're just not in the place you would think they were. (laughs) It took me like 10 minutes to find them. I want to tell you where they are on my website, but... Hopefully, they're not there because I'm speaking to Kevo and Kevo's going to get that fixed up. So, find them on my website. Just fucking look around. You'll figure it out. Anyway, let's get to this week's Ass Boil. So, this week's Ass Boil was sent in by the big man out there in the fucking USA. The big red man himself, Big Justice. And this is Justice's question. What's your opinion on learning a new language and how would you go about doing it? Well, Justice, you have come to the right place. You actually have because it just so fucking happens, Justice, that I'm trying to learn Spanish at the moment. I have a little, a poquito of Spanish. <laughs> poquito Espanol. I don't even know if that's right. I think Paquito is small and Espanol is Spanish. But obviously, I'm going to Central America at the end of the year and Peru now to do ayahuasca. And I've been to South America three times. This will be my fourth. And the same thing happens every time. I'm like, I'm going to spend three months just fucking learning Spanish. So when I get over there, I'm fucking humming. I'm humming from the first day I get there, and it never happens. I always put it off, I do other things, I fuck it off, and then I get to South America or Spain, and it takes me about two weeks to fucking ease back into the Spanish, and by the time I'm leaving these places, my Spanish is getting decent, and I'm understanding shit, and then I go. So this time, I'm doing the exact, exact same thing. About a month ago... I started learning Spanish on Duolingo, which was pretty decent. This is, I'll tell you exactly what happened. 
I was using Duolingo, which is just a fucking app to learn languages. And I was on the Spanish app and I did it for 10 days in a row. And it was all coming back to me. It was doing real good. I was enjoying it. I went on this mad streak. It was fucking great. And then this is what I did. I started reading the reviews to Duolingo and everyone started saying it was a shit app. You're never going to learn Spanish on Duolingo. It'll never make you fluent. It doesn't teach you anything. I'm just reading the reviews and then it changed my mind. I'm like, yeah, Duolingo is shit. Even though up until before reading the reviews, it was great. Everything was going fucking swimmingly. I reckon I would have picked up more words. So I stopped using Duolingo, even though it was working and it was great at a basic level anyway. And I'm like, how to become fluent in Spanish. And I did YouTube. I went on YouTube to figure it out. And they gave me some other apps like Speakly. And then these other cunts were talking about using TV shows. And there was a whole variety of different shit that is better than Duolingo and I just stopped using Duolingo and I never started using the other shit that these people were recommending. So now it's been like five weeks (laughs) of doing no Spanish because I read some fucking reviews by some cunts that didn't even probably didn't fucking think twice about it. They probably don't even know how to speak Spanish. So they've ruined my life by a fucking review. But this is how (laughs) I'm going to go about it. I'm just going to go back to Duolingo. I'm going to pick up all the small words. And then after I feel like I'm bored of this or it's not working or I can't remember anything, I will move on to something else. But the key, this is the key to fucking learning a language, even though... I barely know English, but this is the key. Consistency, do it every day. Don't fucking skip it. Don't fuck it off. Make it a priority just to do 10, 15 minutes on an app or something every day. And don't quit when it gets hard. This is the key to life. Consistency and don't quit when it gets hard. Just do it every fucking day and don't quit. That's it. That's life. That's how you fucking push forward. But I'm starting it up again. My wife started Duolingo with my son about a week and a half ago, and both of them have overtaken me now. They're both speaking Spanish to each other. I think they're fucking shitting on me in Spanish. And my wife already speaks like four different Indian languages, and everyone will be like, Oh, they're Indian languages. No, they're fucking different, completely different languages. So she's picking it up fast and it's getting embarrassing. And what are my thoughts on learning a language, a new language? Fucking, it's been on my bucket list forever. Guitar, a new language, and jujitsu or martial art have been on my bucket list. I hate saying the word bucket list, but there have been things I've wanted to do forever. And I'm doing jujitsu. I'm going to start Duolingo again today. And I fucking, maybe not guitar, I don't know. Maybe piano. Maybe I'll fuck the guitar off and go piano. But I've realized with myself, I can only do one thing at a time. I can't be spread out fucking doing all sorts of different shit at the same time. I'm fucking like, all right, I can drill down and do one thing. Like jujitsu, all right, I'll do that every day, every day. Let's do it. Fuck yeah, boom. Give me a good year run at it and I'll just do it. When I fucking decide to learn a language, it's just going to have to be the same. I'm just going to have to block everything else out. Let's language it. Let's just drill down, no disturbances. Let's get this Spanish down. And the same with piano. I'm just going to have to fucking get a piano teacher in here every fucking day for a year and learn it that way because I'm too retarded to do it any other way. I know myself now. But that's what I would do, Justice. 
Just fucking do it every day. Start with Duolingo. What language are you learning anyway? Aren't you a hillbilly? (laughs) Are you learning English? Just do it every day. Learn the ABCs first and then move on to nursery rhymes. But yeah, just do it every day and don't quit when it gets hard and you'll be fine. Anyway, that'll fucking do it for today. If you're enjoying the podcast, give it a share around and I'll see you the fuck later.